It's important for students to be involved in student teams for several reasons. One, it develops the idea of teamwork, but on the other side of things, it also allows students to hands-on apply some of the knowledge that they learn in the classroom and realize that there's not always a clear-cut solution for everything they do. We're beginning to realize more that this is uh, an essential part of their curriculum in many ways. And so we're working towards how, uh, finding how we can integrate this more effectively into the degree programs. So it's very definitely a, um, a new era in terms of uh, these kinds of activities. U of M Baja Racing Team is an off-road racing project. Each year we design, build, and test a new vehicle and race it around the U.S., usually three different competitions. You're supposed to be this fictitious firm that's supposed to be building vehicles for under... I don't remember the price, $3,000 or $5,000 that can be sold. Um, and it's supposed to be a safer alternative to ATVs because it's got a roll cage and seat belts and all that stuff. The competitions usually consist of four separate days. Uh, the first day of it, which is tech inspection to safety inspection. Second day is the events, dynamic events, um, consisting of acceleration, hill climb, mud bog, sled pull, maneuverability, and suspension and traction, usually. And the fourth, or the third or fourth day uh, culminates with a four-hour endurance race. We got second overall in design in uh, Wisconsin. Uh, did not make design finals, but based on our report score and our design score, oral presentation score, we were thrown up into second place. What we're doing next year, we're going to probably, we haven't really figured it out yet, but we're probably going to keep the front half from the, this year's car and the rear half from a di different car, uh, merge the two together, and see what we can come out with hopefully not as many design changes as this year. Steelbridge team designs and fabricates a 10th uh, size scale model of uh, a steel bridge. The bridge is broken up into pieces that are specified by the rules. Um, and in competition, we have to put these pieces together. Uh, so there'll be a, kind of a, a site, a mock site of like a river, a construction zone, and you put the, uh, your bridge together with a team of anywhere between three and six people. We design a new bridge every year because the rules change every year. They change so much that uh, every year I have to completely rethink the way you design a bridge. So for instance, uh, this year um, our truss couldn't be above our deck, so we had to build the truss underneath. So that very much uh, changed what, needed, what we needed to focus on. We got second place in regionals and ended up getting 23rd in nationals out of 49 teams. Uh, we cut our total cost from regionals to nationals by about 25% um, from changes that we made after regionals. A human-powered submarine is a wet submarine. You go down in scuba gear, it's not pressurized, it fills up with water, and um, you have control systems, emergency systems, life support systems, and than your drivetrain. Our competition is surely a speed competition. Um, it's whoever hits the top, highest top speed. There are several categories. There's single person and two person, and then propeller driven and non-propeller driven. You make run sort of like a drag race. The driver's obviously, his role is to pilot the sub and to, to, to drive it. He's on scuba gear inside the sub. Um, the scuba gear is in, in the sub is attached. It's, it's attached to the sub, so the one of the big roles of the support divers is to make sure that the diver can get to the sub, can get out of the sub, and make sure that he's safe at all the times. Our design is unique because we have counter-rotating propellers. It's been Michigan's thing for years now. Um, it's more efficient. Depending on the year, sometimes we start with a clean sheet design. Sometimes we, this year was sort of an iterative design. We just designed what we um, could from the, what we've learned in the past and what worked and didn't and built on that. The uh, human-powered submarine the, uh, team, the Baja team, the steel bridge team are just three of, of many uh, teams that we have here that are exceptional uh, and create uh, outstanding opportunities for our students. The classroom knowledge is, is essential uh, and it's a core part of the fundamental, but uh, these projects and activities help motivate those classes uh, and help them give them the sets of experiences that just uh, really prepare them for for um, uh, a, a complex world that that uh, they're going to be going out into.